Senior J.B. Kolod is relatively new to diving. A former gymnast, he switched to the sport when the gym where he trained shut down. For me, it happened pretty late when I was in 10th grade of high school. At that point, I had a choice uh, if I wanted to maybe move out to Colorado and train at the Olympic Training Center or just drop gymnastics altogether. And uh, I didn't want to do the big move. I wanted to stay in Pittsburgh with my friends and family. And uh, I loved it a lot. It was a lot of fun. It was like gymnastics, but a little bit less scary, which was nice. Uh, the things that make you a good gymnast, like at least physically and potential-wise, would also make you a really good diver. So what I had, I think, was uh, I was pretty good at twisting and I had really good kinesthetic awareness, like where I was in the air and how many flips I was doing. And that's, I think, even more helpful in diving since it's a lot more about landing straight up and down in the water, whereas with gymnastics, as long as you can find your stick, you're good. Coming out of high school, Kolod was impressed by the unity of the swimming and diving program at UVA. With his raw talent, he has rewritten the school diving record books highlighted by a seventh place finish at the NCAA meet a year ago. I just fit in really well here. I mean, I loved everything about the school and the whole brotherhood atmosphere that there is on the swimming and diving team. That was something I was really impressed by. I think my diving's definitely come a long way, and I think there's a long way yet for me to go with just overall refinement and polishing things. Um, and I would say that's the thing that I'm most looking forward to, is just getting to that next level of really polishing all your dives. Hi, I'm JB Kolob with the Virginia Men's Swimming and Diving Team. Today I'm going to walk you through a 107B or a front three and a half pike on three meter. The approach uh, is actually the easiest part of the dive, but it's probably the part that people mess up the most. It's just three steps into one big lunge onto your strong leg, and then you drive your arms above your head with your knee to get as much height as possible. When you drop onto the board, you get your arms back up. The higher you get, the better, because all of your rotation comes from throwing your arms forward. Uh, when you come out and spot the water, then you just put your hands above your head and hope that you get a nice, clean vertical entry. The hardest part of the hurdle is probably just staying in balance. If you're a little too back or a little far forward, it can make it really hard to get the height and speed you need to finish the dive. Get your hands above your head and throw forward, grab your hands, and then swim, pull them apart when you hit the water to create a hole for your body to go through and get the cleanest entry. I'm JB Kolob, and that's how we dive in Virginia. <laughs>